Hello, in this video we'll look at how to find out if your Windows is activated, how to activate both Windows 10 and Windows 7, and do you need to activate them. We will try to reveal this topic from different angles. Let's look at the desktop of our Windows and determine is it activated or not. This is usually very simple to determine. At Windows 7 and 10 the inscription is displayed in the corner of the screen. You can find out more if you go to my computer or this computer, click right mouse button and select properties. Here the section below activating windows will show if it is activated or not. Ok, what if you installed windows and it didn't activate automatically? How to activate it? You have two ways, legal and illegal. Let's start with the legal path that I recommend to you. To activate Windows you need an activation code. If your computer or laptop was bought with a licensed Windows 7, somewhere there should be a sticker with a code on it. Windows 8 and 10 may already not have a code on stickers. In such computers the code is flashed inside the BIOS and is automatically activated. Of course, if you install the correct version of Windows, the one the license is installed for. If you do not have a code, then you need to purchase it. This can be done in a computer store. You will receive a code and official documentation. And you can get just a code without packaging and documents. For example, on your laptop store. Such a code will cost 10 or more times cheaper and will also activate your home computer. This is also suitable for work computers if the company or organization does not require legal documents in paper form for software. The original digital code that has been tested and activated according to the Windows 10 license is enough to legally use it. Having received the code, go to the properties of the computer and enter it. Internet must be connected to complete activation. Also, I advise to enter to your Microsoft account. If you do not have it, then register. In this way, the code will be attached to your record and the following reinstallations of Windows will be automatically activated. You can check your account by clicking on the photo in the Start menu and change the account settings. Many people choose the illegal path. There are special programs, activators, that modify certain Windows files and the system considers that the activation has passed. The most popular is a KMS Auto. But no one gives a guarantee that along with the activation hack, other parts of the system are not hacked and hackers or viruses do not have access to your computer. Therefore, this is a rather risky option. And as practice shows, legal licensed Windows works more stable. There are no errors with updates and the computer is more secure. Ultimately, it's up to you. But it is recommended to activate Windows to remove all restrictions. Recommended, but not required. An inactive Windows will not stop working. Windows 7 will just constantly pester you with warnings and arrange for you black desktop. Windows 10 will also remind and show a message on the desktop, but the desktop image can be changed, not through personalization, and through the context menu of the image file, click to make the background image. By the way, the watermark in Windows 10 can be removed through the registry. In this section, the paint desktop version parameter must be changed from 1 to 0 and restart PC. And there are no other restrictions, even for updates, although some have problems here at inactive system. So, my conclusion is that it's better not to activate an original Windows at all than to crack it. Better yet, activate it legally. This is honest, because this is how you act in accordance with the license agreement that you legally accepted when you install Windows. And this is useful. If you still have questions about the activation of Windows, write it in the comments and watch our other videos. There are still a lot of interesting things on the PCNP channel. Subscribe, click on the bell and see you on there again!